call for emergency medical help in this country is generally met with a shameful excuse of an answer. One leading U.S. surgeon has called it an indelible black mark on the forehead of his profession. This is a report on how one city, Jacksonville, has turned the grim tide to become a recognized national standard, described by one medical journal as a center of excellence in the emergency treatment of the sick, the injured, the maimed. In the 70s, in the face of critical need, Channel 12 launched an editorial campaign to put the fire department on the front line of emergency medical response. A young reporter named Howard Kelly documented the transition. On this run, a child has stopped breathing. In most serious emergencies, if a fire engine company is closer, it will respond with a rescue unit. During the year it took to produce this documentary, Kelly rode on more than 250 rescue runs. At that time, reporters did their own shooting and editing, researching, writing, and narration. Howard honed that distinctive Walter Cronkite voice working in radio while at UF. After graduation, he joined the new staff of Channel 12 WTLV as a field reporter and weekend anchor, quickly moving up the ladder. He was on the scene during the civil unrest of the late 60s. He became news director and finally vice president and general manager. His impact was significant. Howard was my first boss. How lucky was I? He grew the news department and required that all of us continue to challenge ourselves and to get better and better and better at what we did. Working with Howard was a great experience. It was a time at, uh, in TV and especially at Channel 12 where we were going through a transition. We were going from film into tape. We used to have to have stuff in processing at three o'clock in the afternoon to show it on the six o'clock show. Then all of a sudden tape came along and it was instant. So there was no more of that. If the fire broke out at five, you didn't have to say, well, they'll be filming at 11. We could have it on at six. But with that came a big responsibility, and thank goodness for Howard. He loved journalism, and his integrity was such that he wanted us not just to be first, but be right. I had the opportunity to apply for an internship at Channel 12, and that's where um, I first became acquainted with, with Howard Kelly. And just thinking back, I mean, he could have only been a couple of years older than, than me at the time, but he was just a great mentor. I was green as I could be, knew nothing about television, just about forecasting. I was gonna be in Jacksonville, Florida. I'd never lived here before. And evidently there was quite a debate. Now, is, shouldn't we hire an experienced meteorologist? And Howard Kelly, fortunately, at the end of the day, stood up and said, you know, let's give the surfer boy a chance. Here I am 32 years later. I got the experience of working for a man who taught me integrity, who taught me to be a learner, and to always know that the status quo was not a place you could stay. From being a starting street reporter, general assignment reporter, all the way to general manager of some 150 people in the building, Howard never changed. He was the same person, and that's integrity. In 1986, uh, Howard had a really big broadcast opportunity, but it would have taken him out of town. He really wanted to stay in Jacksonville. So uh, at the urging of Prime Osborne, uh, he left uh, broadcasting, went to work for Sally, which at the time was a small but struggling design and fabrication group that did uh, animatronics. They focused on uh, family entertainment, education, and theme parks, museums, and even the movie industry. Howard first joined us in the mid-80s as a member of our board of directors. And it was in short period of time when we realized the management capabilities and skills that he had, and we recruited him to come in at no pay, I might add, to be our chairman and CEO. You know, it was really his initiative to take us overseas in a big way. So we formed a company in Australia. We formed one in England. The first time I went out of the country with Sally was with Howard to England. And what a wonderful trip that was. The, the British and the rest of the Europeans on many other trips that I went on with him loved him. Howard led Sally for 22 years, and he created attractions such as the London Tower Bridge Exhibition, uh, La Villa Museum here in Jacksonville, World Fairs, Expos, he did theme parks in the U.S., China, Spain, all around the world. He essentially grew Sally from a small building in Riverside to a full city block in La Villa, and uh, the company now serves customers on four continents. When I met Howard, 
uh, it was actually when he started working at Sally, you know, he came into the company, I knew he would be a big influence on my life. And he has been, he's been um, influence on my career and as a friend, you know, he's been the, the greatest mentor that you could ask to have. Howard came in like a knight in white shining armor and really took care of some issues that we had as any young entrepreneurial company would. Howard brought his technical ability um, to the company, whether it was beta testing for Microsoft, uh, the latest Windows, or uh, learning about Skype when it first came on the scene, and he would bring those uh, softwares to us and, and help us implement them into the company. Howard was at the leading edge. He actually taught at FSCJ, what is now FSCJ, a whole course on the introduction of the internet. He was a great partner. As Sally has grown, so has the demand for production services. The company produces the majority of its soundtracks, music, and video productions in Jacksonville. Videos are created for ride pre-shows and queue lines, marketing, and sometimes as part of the show, museum presentation, or dark ride. Through the years, Sally has employed scores of local actors, singers, composers, musicians, costumers, technicians, designers, artists, plus filmmakers, recording studios, and production companies. You know, for 30 years, Howard's been the go-to guy in regional community affairs. He's been a true community steward who brings common sense, intellect, and an incredible creative energy to everything he touches. Howard, through the years, has been so involved in the community, and as you know, he's a person who has always been giving back, and I think that he was one of those people who were paying it forward long before there was even a term for that. Howard is an honorary member of Leadership Jacksonville. He's been involved for a very long time, over 20 years, been very generous with his, his time and his knowledge with our youth, our college, and our adult programs. Howard Kelly's more than 45 years of domestic and international communication and business experience evolves out of careers in broadcasting, manufacturing, technology, and corporate governance. His leadership, creativity, community stewardship, and lasting contributions to Jacksonville's media community is second to none. And his sense of humor is legendary. Congratulations, Howard. We're all very proud of you. Howard, awesome. Stoka Boca. Well deserved, Howard. Way to go, Howard. Congratulations, Howard. Congratulations, Howard. Congratulations, Howard. Thanks, Howard. You're the best. Howard, job well done. Congratulations, Howard. Well done. You're a great mentor, Howard. Thanks. Howard, you're the best. Not bad, Howard. Congratulations, Howard! <laughs> 